It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently, there was a video that went viral about what exactly is woke. And so without further hesitation, let's respond to the video. And if Americans consider themselves very liberal and probably fewer of them consider themselves to be woke. And so, you know, when, when well, we talk about traditional... What does that mean to you? Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Because it's come up a couple of times and I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is sort of the idea that... Um, I... This is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, woke is something that's very hard to define, and we've spent an entire chapter defining it. It is sort of the understanding that we need to re -to totally reimagine and re re redo society in order to create hierarchies of oppression. Um, sorry, I, it's, it's hard to explain in a 15-second soundbite. When I criticize ideas or argumentations, I try not to use words like SJW or woke largely because I want to focus and concentrate on the ideas that I agree with and stuff that I don't really agree with. And so when it comes down to answering the question on a TV show, that's very hard to do largely because there is no such academic definition about what exactly is woke. However, here are some ideas on which I would probably use to justify the definition of woke for me. That way everybody else will probably have a good idea what exactly do people mean by woke when they say that word. The first definition comes directly from a book that is called Teaching While White, Addressing the Intersections of Race and Immigration in Classroom. The notion of getting woke or staying awake is defined as being aware of social and racial injustice, not just awareness, but acknowledgement of isolated incidences, but awareness from a position of understanding systematic and institutional racism. The notion of getting woke and capitalize the first stage of being accomplished in addressing the system of racism White accompanies should strive to be woke enough not to call themselves woke and instead strive to embody the state of being building with people of color, be in a perpetual state of learning, and be woke enough to know you never woke enough. The second definition comes directly from Stay Woke, a people's guide to making all black lives matter. So that we're on the same page, we should mention that having knowledge about the facts of racism and mannerism that reproduce racial inequality doesn't make someone woke. There are many people who know the facts and use them to assist on anti-black narratives and pursue public policy that embrace racial inequity. Knowledge is a necessary but not a sufficient component of being anti-racist. You must put your knowledge to use in order to eradicate the problems of racial injustice. So based upon these definitions, I will say that a good definition of a person that's being woke is somebody who advocates for social justice using the lens of equality of outcomes and not the equality of opportunities. I want to further clarify that just because something is a left-wing idea doesn't mean it's woke and just because there are, of course, like, you know, people that advocate for social issues or social justice doesn't mean that they're actually woke. What woke is, is basically taking things too far by having equality of outcomes as a direct result of your personal belief system. Let's take, for example, the case of the Oscar so white. Basically, the argumentation was that there was not enough representation of black people and of course that's why they campaign against the Oscars and so what they try to advocate is basically equality of outcomes and not equality and so basically to me that's an example of wokeness in action. Another example is Jill Biden. Jill Biden literally says that he wants equity and so that right there 
is basically wokeness. Another example would be the case of movies. Largely, it's not necessarily because they have a diverse cast, that's why it's woke. The main reason why it'd be woke is largely because they don't have any other original ideas and so they use pre-established characters and of course race swap or gender swap that character for the sake of diversity. One final example is basically the argumentations from anti-racists because anti-racists many times state that black people simply cannot be racist because we don't have all the power in the world and therefore we cannot possibly be racist. I want to further emphasize that just because something is left-wing doesn't mean it's woke. But the ideas, the ideas of perpetuating equality of outcome, that's what make it woke. So basically, wokeness is taking human rights activism to the most possible extremes. Not because it's like, you know, human rights, that's actually what we're talking about, but taking it so far extreme that it goes into the opposite direction. That's what wokeness is. But uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.